It can stay as such for many years without any, any complications. My name is Dr. Hatem al -Aishi. I'm a professor of rheumatology at Cairo University. Let us start with a glass of water and a spoon of sugar. You get a spoon of sugar and you dissolve it in a glass of water and it dissolves. And you get another one, another spoon of sugar, and it dissolves, and another one, and another one, and you keep getting another and another. In the end, no more sugar is dissolving in the water. You reach a stage of saturation. The water is drowned in sugar. It, it has no more place for sugar. So the excess sugar will deposit at the bottom of the glass of water. Let's go to our body now. This is our body. This is the serum uric acid the normal uric acid, 2 to 7 milligrams per deciliter. If for any reason our uric acid goes higher than 7, this is the, this is the situation. It's higher than 7 now, more than 7. So this is the start of the state of supersaturation. This is the red, I'm ready now to deposit. The uric acid is ready to deposit, just like the, the sugar was ready to deposit at the bottom of the glass. It's a stage of supersaturation, ready. It's only readiness. It did not deposit. And it takes 10 to 20 years. And after 10 to such a long time, and after 10 to 20 years, maybe, not surely, not that, maybe, uric acid salts might deposit in the tissues. If they deposit in the tissues, where do they deposit? They, they love three types of tissues. They love the joints. They love the joints in general, but mostly they love the feet joints. The big toe, the mid-tarsal, which are the joints of the middle of the foot, the ankle, they love those joints especially. Or in the soft tissues, like here, this is one of the common tissues that they like. Or in the, t or in the, in the urinary tract, in the kidney, ureter, urethra, they love those three places to deposit. The mere deposition of uric acid salts does not mean disease. It's only benign deposition, and it can stay as such for many years without any, any complications. So, after deposition, they deposited. What might happen next? Gout might happen and might not. You might get gout. They are only deposited. It doesn't mean that they make gout. They might get gout. So, what is gout? Gout is high uric acid in the blood, and you have this high uric acid in a state of supersaturation and it takes many years and this gut starts to deposit after many years it deposits in some of the in the joints in in tissues one of them is the joints and in the end when it deposits only 20 percent of those people who have a deposition of uric acid in only 20 percent the joint disease we call gout might happen